Hey beautiful souls, welcome to Twin Flame Reading Channel. It's really tough when you and your special someone just can't seem to see eye to eye. You've already tried your best to make things better by giving in here and there, but your partner doesn't seem willing to meet you halfway. They think our differences are just too big to ignore, like they're warning signs of bigger problems down the road. It's honestly heartbreaking, you've put so much effort into making things work, willing to change and compromise, but it feels like they are not even trying. They've made it clear that they are not interested in changing their habits or thoughts to make things better between you two. The things that set you apart aren't just little arguments, they're serious issues causing trouble. Your partner sees them as problems waiting to blow up and ruin everything you have together. And then, out of nowhere, they're gone, they disappear without saying a word, leaving you feeling lost and alone. It hurts so much because it shows they weren't willing to face the problems and try to fix them. You're left feeling a mix of emotions, confused, angry, and incredibly sad. How could they just walk away without even trying to sort things out? It's really tough to accept that you were ready to fight for the relationship while they just gave up. But even though it hurts, you can't help but wonder if maybe they were right. Maybe those differences were just too big to overcome. Still, it's a tough pill to swallow, knowing they didn't fight for you like you fought for them. It could be that your special person wants to take things slow and be friends first. They might think starting as friends is the best way to go, instead of rushing into a serious relationship. Even though they care about you a lot and might even love you, they're just not ready for a committed relationship right now. This can be tough to hear, especially if you're hoping for something more serious. You might feel ready to move forward, but they are not seeing it that way at the moment. They are keeping their distance to make sure you don't expect too much from them when they are not ready to give it. But it's important to know that their decision doesn't mean they don't value you or the connection you share. They are trying to be honest about where they are at and what they are comfortable with. They don't want to lead you on or make promises they can't keep. It's normal to feel disappointed or even a bit heartbroken when things don't go the way you hoped. You might wonder if things will ever change or if you'll always be stuck in this in-between stage. But it's important to respect their boundaries and give them the space they need to figure things out. In the meantime, focus on enjoying the friendship you have. Friendships can be really special and meaningful, even if they don't turn into romantic relationships. And who knows, with time and patience, your relationship might grow into something more when the timing is right for both of you. It's possible that your special someone has disappeared because they feel insecure about your friendships with other people, especially if you have friends of the opposite gender. Knowing you spend time with others, especially those of the opposite gender, might make them feel jealous and unsure. They worry you'll give your time, love, and care to someone else instead of them, which is really tough for them to handle. They might be hurting a lot because of their jealousy and insecurity, but they might not know how to talk to you about it. Instead of facing their feelings head on, they might be trying to get back at you by ghosting. They might want you to understand how it feels to be left wondering and feeling insecure about the relationship. It's a tough situation for both of you, they're struggling with their feelings, and you're left feeling confused and hurt by their sudden disappearance. Not knowing why they've chosen to cut off communication can be really tough, especially when you care about them a lot. 
Their actions might seem like they are punishing you, but it's important to remember they might be acting out of their own pain and confusion. They might not know how to handle their feelings well, so they are using ghosting as a way to cope. It's okay to feel hurt and confused by what they are doing, but it's also important to take care of yourself. Reach out to friends and family for support, and focus on things that make you happy. You deserve to be with someone who can talk openly and honestly about their feelings and who trusts and respects you. For now, give them space to work through their own emotions, with time and patience, they might be able to confront their insecurities and talk to you more openly. But in the end, it's up to them to take responsibility for their actions and work on building a healthier relationship with you. Now let's do your finance check with the help of cards. You might be struggling with your finances or feeling unhappy because of the people you're around. The folks you hang out with or grew up with might not have a good attitude towards money. Even if they have money, they might not think about it in a positive way, and that negativity could be affecting you. When you're around people who don't see money positively, it can rub off on you. Their thoughts and actions about money might start to influence how you think about it and handle your own finances. You might end up adopting their way of thinking without realizing it, which could hold you back from reaching your financial goals. Their negative energy might be making you feel stuck or unable to make progress with your money. If they always worry about money or make bad decisions with it, it can affect you too. Their habits and attitudes towards money might become part of your own behavior, leading to similar results. It's not just about how much money they have, it's about how they think and act when it comes to finances. Even if they have plenty of money, if they are always worried about it or spend it poorly, it can impact you too. Their way of dealing with money might become your own, which could keep you from reaching your financial goals. Breaking away from this cycle can be hard, especially if you've been around these influences for a long time. You might need to make tough choices about who you spend time with and how you think about money. Surrounding yourself with people who see money positively can help you change your mindset and habits. It's important to realize how much others can affect your financial situation and to protect yourself from negative influences. Spend time with people who encourage and support your financial goals. Look for mentors or role models who handle money well and can give you advice and motivation. Remember, you have the power to change your financial situation and create the life you want. By surrounding yourself with positive influences and thinking about money in a healthy way, you can break free from negative patterns and build a better financial future. It seems like many of the people you're around are having a tough time with money. They might be struggling to get by or relying too much on others for help. It's important to think about who you're spending time with, like friends or family. Take a moment to think about whether these relationships are helping or hurting your own money situation. If the people around you are always worried about money, it might start to make you feel the same way. 
Their worries can affect how you think and act about your own finances. That's why it's important to think about who you're hanging out with. Try to be around people who are doing well financially or who are working towards their goals. Being around them can help you feel more positive and motivated about your own money situation. It's not about cutting off the people you care about, it's about finding the right balance and being mindful of how they affect you. Look for friends or mentors who can support you in reaching your financial goals. Breaking free from money worries can be tough, but being around the right people can make it easier. Surrounding yourself with positive influences can help you feel more confident and in control of your finances.